right, Andy, match point. Yeah, great day for us today, getting two wins. Um, really satisfying sailing those shifty conditions as well as we did today. I mean, you're a trimmer. Talk to me how hard it is on a day like today. You made it look easy, but, I mean, it was incredibly variable. Yeah, I mean, everyone on board today did a really good job of uh, sticking to their roles and then, you know, when it was their turn to pick the breeze, uh, we were seeing it very similarly as a group today, which made it extremely fun. It did sound like the communications have gone up a notch with you guys. Did you work really hard on that overnight? Yeah, a few people have asked me that, and um, I think it's mostly down to the changing conditions today. You know, with that offshore breeze, there was a lot more to talk about as a, as a unit on board, a um, lot more information to pass over to the other side of the yacht to try and connect those puffs up the course. And you're being humble as always, because there is still a job to do tomorrow. Weather doesn't look too good, maybe the next day. Still doesn't look too crash hot. What are you thinking? Yeah, it looks light for the weekend for sure. Uh, but, you know, same thing for us. we just got to prepare as well as we can for the conditions that are forecasted tomorrow and hopefully we get a race away. Good luck. Thanks. Welcome. I mean, tomorrow the weather doesn't look too good, but the next match is just as important as all those that have come before it. Yeah, I mean, the next match is always the, the hardest one to win. And, you know, but in saying that, we're super excited by that challenge. We know that, um, you yeah, know, to win the America's Cup, you've got to be the fastest boat in the last race. And... You know, we've got a few things we want to tidy up from, from our last light air performances and yeah, looking forward to, to going and executing them on the weekend. Quite possibly the toughest conditions to sail in today with a cross swell and very patchy breeze and, and it did look incredibly strong from your team. Yeah, I, I mean, I'd definitely take that. Um, you know, to be honest, I think we feel super comfortable in it uh, just because we've sailed so much at, at home in real shifty dynamic uh, conditions and yeah, it was great to see the team performing well today. Perfect. Well done. Cheers. Thank you. I felt like you had two really good starts and then you still ended up on the back foot. Really tough day. Yeah, yeah. Um, we did. We had a, you know, came out really uh, with a, a good plan in, in those pre-starts and, and uh, you know, really kind of came out um, punching, really. Um, mm. I think put them on the back foot a little bit. And, um, you know, in, in those conditions, um, unfortunately, so much it is about that, that first shift and, you and, um, even you know, kind of having the better of the first start actually um, resulted in them being the, the correct side of us and um, and getting getting the right shift, so um, it didn't go our way. Yeah, the pre-starts have improved substantially. I think we saw the tightest circle we've ever seen on an AC75 today from you guys, and then yeah, it was just so shifty out there. And then the passing lanes are just really tough when there's maybe one side favoured over another, and and vice versa. Yeah, no, I mean um, we're we're getting more and more confident with the boat every time we go out and, and obviously you know throwing the boat around really nicely and, and kind of making it difficult for the other team in, in the starts um, you know so it's great to see those improvements and I think on a you know on a on a the more classic conditions that we've seen up to now that probably would have resulted in a in a different result um, but in that stuff so much was about the pressure and the shift as well and um, you know they just somehow managed to kind of pick that off the, you know, off, on that first beat and get in front, get in front of us. Yeah. So what are we, what are we going to do to come back? I mean, now it's at match point. It's it's do or die. Yeah. Well, it's uh, pretty clear what we've got to do now. We've got to win every race, and I think the only way you're going to do that is really kind of take it to him. Um, so we're we're ready for that, and I think the great thing is we we we've seen the improvements. You know, particularly in the starts, and that's going to be super important over this weekend. Um, we're not going to be back into the shifty stuff for the next few days. Um, you know, so put that into practice and we can get some good wins under our belt. See what happens. Yep. Thank you, Lee. Hi, I'm good, mate. How are I you? I always gravitate to you first. I don't know. It's because <laughs> I make you feel better or something. <laughs> yeah, it must be. You've always got a smile on your face. That, that might be it too, even after today, which was a tough day at the office. Yeah, no, it was a tough day. And, you know, certainly uh, credit to the Kiwis. They sailed two brilliant races. And we, we had good starts, but we just couldn't get that first shift off the line right. And they got in front and made us pay for it. And that was kind of it. The pre-starts were phenomenal, I thought, from you guys. Yeah, really good pre-starts. I think two teams that, having now got this far through the competition, really fine-tuning these pre-start approaches and the strategies around that has been fascinating. And uh, I, you know, I thought the starts were good, but yeah, we, like it's, we just couldn't, we just couldn't get that first shift right. Yeah, I couldn't really capitalise, I guess, because it was incredibly shifty and we saw everything pivoting on a point at times. Yeah, it was really, really tricky conditions, and we all know in whatever boat kind of boat you're sailing in those kind of shifty offshore breeze like that it's all about linking up the dots and staying in the shift and the pressure and, and they just did a better job of that yep and then now you've got nothing to lose no that's right we need perfection from it here on in we don't have any second chances but 
in some ways that's that's easier. You know that you know what you got to do, and the team are certainly up for the fight. They've come a long way. We've come a long way through this competition and improved that, you know, massive amount. And we've just got to keep that going. Different different conditions tomorrow, and why not come out get a couple of bullets on the board? Yeah, sounds good to me. Very good. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome.